Hey everyone, this is Space Tiger TV. This is part three of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Um, this one kind of ends abruptly, but I wanted to leave it around 30 minutes. Let's get into it. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. wounds. Good job. That's not opening. My friend, it appears the Sefo had some interest in Dathomir. Strange. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Nice job. Should be a lot quicker than the way in. this place. 
place. I used this place to study the sphere above. I can still feel the excitement. Need a step. Hi there. Making a new friend?
Hey there, little guy. Pass the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! Go! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of petroleum weed fabric? Not really. Oh. I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. <sighs> the next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. <laughs> You knew him? Yes, a long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. <laughs> Death Mirror Zepho, it's your choice. Grease, what's this thing? What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy. But you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embar and glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. Seer, can you feel the force at all? Yes. 
But instead of opening up, I push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the Force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay. I'll keep trying. Where are we headed? Time to settle down, you know, fall in love, start a family. Love? You? Yeah, you think a guy like me doesn't know love? I bet you're gonna tell me. Let me tell you, it's the best, but a lot of work. It needs admiration, devotion, attraction, and respect. Please, that's actually very insightful. Yeah, well, it comes with experience. <laughs> Can't look this good and not steal a few hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Sit down, kid. It's time to land. Think of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Eh, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Uh, copy that. Bums ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Of course, it's under control. It's just a little tricky. <laughs> Easy money, baby. Uh -huh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. You did good work on Pagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. Dangerous being on the run, huh? You're telling me. You lose someone? His name is Prof. Traded his life for mine. Sounds like a tough, strong guy. <laughs> Not far from myself. He was. Since the day I stepped foot on Braca, he watched over me. He never complained. Never complained? On that trash heap? I just hope he didn't do it for nothing. They never do, kid. They never do.
Come back here. Oh, something was in there. door's not budging. Watch out, BD. You don't look friendly. I'll check it out. I'm looking. Cal, can you hear me? The Empire. They found Zeppo. If they were following the Mantis, we would have been swarmed already. Could they be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. Just got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround to crack into theirs. Hmm. What'd you find? Just won't open. Mother used this fabric to keep her child warm. They were on the run from something. Stim crate should be here. Wait, can he carry more? Thanks, BD1. Some help here, BD1.
Hey now. What is it? Okay, I'll look. Find something? them away. Oster, no! Some help here, BD-1? It's all lies. The Empire just wanted this land.